I'm just not really a fan of Western. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Wendy and I am back with a non-spoiler review of The Magnificent Seven. So obviously this is the remake of the 1961. I had never seen the original Magnificent Seven. I'm just not really a fan of Western, so it's never really interested me. But the trailer for this really, really piqued my interest, so I couldn't wait to see it. So basically, The Magnificent Seven is about a greedy industrialist taking over a small western town because he wants to mine gold from their mines and um, when certain townspeople spoke out, basically a murderous scene occurred, leaving the widow Emma Cullen riding out to seek out uh, Denzel Washington's character to help take back her town. So Denzel Washington's character goes out and recruits the other six um, that would help him reclaim this old town for Miss Emma. And you guys, everything about this movie was so, I felt, so classic Western from the big set of, you know, the seven horses riding out and the mountain range scenery to your quippy Western lines to the classic standoff to uh, a shootout at the bars. And I couldn't have been more satisfied watching this movie and this comes from someone who I don't really like westerns um in the beginning I felt like I, I was a little worried that I would be a little bit bored because it was just like line 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 but once the characters came together that's when I became very invested in the movie um specifically I really like Vincent D'Onofrio's character just because I expected him to come in kind of sounding like Kingpin, all big and burly, but he put on this very different voice than what I expected, and he had some of the best lines. He was, to me, like the heart of the group. One of my favorite parts in the movie was seeing Denzel bringing each character together, and obviously each character had their own uh, special set of skills. Chris Pratt was this gambler, sharpshooter. They're all, like, in a sense, sharp shooters. Specifically, um, Chris Pratt was a sharpshooter. Ethan Hawke was like a pro with the uh, rifle, and apparently he was some uh, war veteran that had like 23 confirmed kills, which is awesome. And we have Bill Hong Lee, who is kind of like almost like his sidekick slash partner in crime, and he's the assassin. So yes, he used guns, but he also mainly used knives. And then we have Denzel, who just like, I don't think he can look bad in any movie he does. You tell him, Denzel, I want you to go be a cowboy. All right, he'll do some fancy tricks on horses and do really quick those things. Um, <laughs> so uh, he's just, I, I have nothing bad to say about any of these characters. I also like that all the quippy, funny lines in this movie didn't really take me out of it. It, were, it was all well-placed, well-timed. So I never at any point was like, oh God, that's so cheesy. Did they have to say that? I bought into all of those lines. And I also like that they didn't try to force any sort of romance with uh, Emma Cullen, uh, played by Haley Bennett with any of the characters. Because um, I, I was worried that maybe, you know, even though she's just recently widowed, they would try to do that with her and Chris Pratt's character, but they really didn't, and I appreciate that. My favorite moment of the movie was the execution of the epic major battle, and it was very well, uh, carefully planned, if you will, and there was a scene with the dynamite, and you guys, I was, I found myself leaning forward in my chair because it was so intense waiting to see what was gonna happen. And like I said, this really had everything good about a Western in it, the epic wide shot of explosions, of horses running, people shooting at each other, running out, things like that. So some of the things that I found a little bit uh, predictable was that a lot of the funny lines went to Chris Pratt, um, and I felt like ever since he landed the Star Lord character, they're just like, oh, well, let's just give Pratt these funny lines. He can deliver all of them. I mean, obviously some of the other characters got those too, but he had the majority of it. And and I thought that that was a little predictable. One of the other cons for me for this movie was that the way they ended the movie, they ended with some sort of a narration that the movie didn't quite open with. So I felt that it really didn't match up. I thought it actually ended would have ended naturally if um, it didn't have like a voiceover at the end. But that really, um, I feel like I'm really nitpicking at it now. So you guys, uh, that's it for my non-spoiler review of The Magnificent Seven. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. So comment your thoughts below on what you thought of the movie. If you're going to go see it, what you think of the trailer, anything. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time.